Mama, Mama, please, I don't want to see that man. I don't want to see the prince. I don't understand it. Oh, because he's a prince that he thinks he has the right to interfere in people's issues. He has the right to take my daughter away from me. For what now? <laughs> has Amarachi suddenly become your daughter? So Amarachi is now your daughter. Oburu go wage makana prince bori ya. He just let me warn you. Don't you ever step your feet in that palace. And I know why. The king has already warned about that. And the best thing for you to do now is to comport yourself and prepare your mind to explain things to the prince. Okay, I should explain myself to the prince. Otua. As what? No, no, no. I should go and like, Mama, I will not try it. In fact, if he wants to keep Amarachi in the palace, let him do so. I will not explain anything to him. I don't even want to set my eyes on him. You see, men, they are beasts. I hate them with so much passion. They are the worst set of creatures God ever created. If you want to see your daughter, you can go there and see him because I would not set my eyes on that prince. Just the sight of him alone disgusts me. And mama, let him not set his foot in this house because if he does, I will squeeze him. Oh, good morning, my daughter. Oh, no, 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 no. Come, 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 but if my grandmother is around, she will shout at her. Yes. And she will personally take me to school. Mm -hmm. But since last time, I've not been in school. Why? Because my mom could not pay for my school fees and my book. Mm -hmm. So the teacher <sighs> sent me back home. Don't worry, eh? As soon as school resumes, we go to school. Hmm? Okay, uh, Father. So, what class are you in now? Primary five. Wow! Primary five. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> um, very good. You, you are an intelligent girl, so you go back to school. Hmm? When you go to school, you learn um, IT. That will be a computer wizard <laughs> and make me proud. Mm? Yes, father. Good, good. Um, go and got you some for me. Eh? Okay. not supposed to be a welcome. Do I look like a comedian to you? What's bringing about this comedian thing now? What? I see you have clearly refused to take my advice of coming here to see me. Please, leave the palace at once. Stop coming here. Your advice wasn't good enough for me to consider. Kate! Don't push me. 
You know me. My word is my bond. I told you, you and I are done. And that is final. Find yourself someone that you can toss around. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. Please. I'm going to explain to my father that a lovely daughter who he brought out in a godly way got pregnant before marriage. My father is an Anglican priest well known in our community. If he should hear of this, it will break his heart. <laughs> nah. The worst thing you did was to tell my brother. You should have handled it. <laughs> now look at what it has cost you. Huh? He told me you got pregnant and he asked you to keep the pregnancy, but you aborted the child. That was bad now. We're only dating. We're not married yet. Perhaps my dad do warn me of getting pregnant outside marriage. He said the church will wed us. I only took just one small pill. I never knew the thing would vanish. Please, I, I beg you, just beg him for me, please. Beg him. It's okay. It's okay, my dear. You know what? I'll talk to my brother, okay? Just calm down. I'll try my best. I'll talk to him. You needed to have seen how your brother humiliated me in front of the mates and guards. It's okay, just calm down. It was too much. It's okay, stop. Listen, listen and listen very good. I don't want any other here to hear this. Yes. We shouldn't be talking about this here. But you know what you did was bad. You bought it or were you blood. Do you know what that means? Come on, I'll give up my so you want me to forgive Kate? Huh? You want me to forgive her? What after all she did? No! No! She has made the mistake already. And I understood her excuses. Considering the fact that her father is a priest. Listen, I told Kate. Royalty is the home for the gods. Keep your father out of my relationship with you. I told her several. But she never listened to me. And then she killed her child. Do you know? Who that child could have become. Oh, no, no. Oh, do you know? Oh, she did not abort the baby. Yes. Um, she only took a pill. Yes, just a pill because her menstruation ceased. She didn't abort the child. Is that how she told you the story? Hmm. I see that she has succeeded in confusing my sister. Yes. Forgive her. She has been crying all day. Please forgive her. Okay, please. Be quiet. Listen, as far as I'm concerned, my mind is made up. Do you hear me? I am not going to marry a woman who would not listen to me. Tell your friend Kate that no amount of please would fix this. I'm down. No. Oh, oh. Serious? 
see, I don't know why they think we dump someone like you. She's a very nice woman, and every man dreams to have someone like her. Hmm. It seems they are having some personal issue, and I believe they are going to sort it out themselves. Mm. And the prince was just there shouting at her, Stop coming to the palace, stop coming to the palace. I was there now, I was listening to them. Mm -hmm. Would you? I could not even specify one thing that the prince said to her. Simply could be a disagreement. Probably she did something the prince told her not to do. Or something like that. And Kate is a very nice person. Mm. She's the only one who comes to the palace and dashes us money. And she always wears this nice smile on her face. I love her so much. I'm going to talk to the prince about her. And I believe the prince is going to forgive her. <laughs> Lele. Oh, go now. By the time the prince raises his left hand and sounds you one correct slap, you know yourself. He will not dare. Uh -huh. The prince is a very noble man. And I believe that when I talk to him, he's going to forgive her. Ezo, watch me and see. <laughs> I'll watch, I'll be here. Waiting when you come back crying your cheek. He's laughing. He's laughing. Thank you, Mama. Welcome, my dear. No. I'm fine, very, 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 very well. How is my granddaughter, Amarachi? She's fine. Hey. She's fine. Eh? She sends her greetings. All right. She sends her greetings to who exactly, Mr. Ma? You forcefully took my daughter, seized her, and took her to your evil palace. I want you to bring my daughter back. She has lots of work to do here. You call my father's palace evil? Exactly what I said. If not, why would you forcefully take my child, use her for your royal sacrifice, and you think I don't know? Well, I'll let you know this. My spirit is way stronger than yours. I want my child back. Shut up, Ijoma! So you now know that Amarachi is your daughter? Balun no? Eh? So you now know that she has a lot of work to do in this house? You no longer want her dead. Where are those poison you wanted to poison her with? Magic and bohengi ni hubris. Kampe bohengi man. You have the guts to run your mouth before the prince of this land. You go out to You jump on your beautiful fool. It's okay, mama. You know when I took Amarachi. <laughs> I told myself that if I see improvements, I will bring her here. But clearly, that will not happen anytime soon. Don't bring her! The only reason I was asking for Marachi to come back was because of you. But since you're on your side, huh, doesn't look like I can. So, <coughs> oh, now, Majuga! Hey! Come back here. Where are you going? You want to know where I am going? <laughs> do, you, do you want to kidnap me too? Of course! You want to take me too? Mama. I'm from now. I don't want to go to the house. I'm from now. I'm from now. I'm from I'm going to skin you alive. You had the gods to call my father's palace evil. I am going to make you stand before the others in council and defend that nonsense which you have spoken. About <laughs> all. Look at me. Now take a good look at me. 
Does it look like I care? Does it look like I am scared of you or your father, the king? I am not. You can only kill me. I don't have a life anymore. I don't have a life. My life, my hopes, my dreams, everything. Everything has been shattered. No one cares about me. Nobody cares about my life. Nobody cares about my dreams because everything has, has been dashed away. So you can as well do me the favor of taking me to the king to take my life. Because the only thing I think about each night I go to bed is to take my life. Biko Prince, uh, please, I, I'm, I am so sorry. Don't be angry with her, Biko Baharama. You will quite go see there. Biko, Biko. Chai, it's a pity she couldn't control her mouth. How could she address a royal blood, the prince, as such? Mm. If not for her tears, the prince wanted to take her to the king. Mama, let's just pray the prince doesn't tell his father, else Ijoma will be doomed. I pleaded with him on her behalf and I'm sure he will not. Look at the way you're walking along the road, like someone whose brain has left her body. <sighs> Ijoma, you're gradually becoming a lunatic because this is exactly how it begins. I just want to be left in the world of my own where nobody understands me. So please, Udoka, when next you see me this way, let me be. Wait. You think I don't understand you? Of course I do. But let me tell you something, Ijoma. Stigma kills every woman who does not want to keep you away from those thoughts. I am your sister from the same clan. I lost my parents when I was six. But look at me. I'm a full-grown woman. Thinking about my parents doesn't do me any good. It doesn't bring fortune to me. Rather, it's worsen my situation. All I'm thinking of right now is having a child. So that he or she can continue my family name. And you, you are killing us. What did you just say? You're thinking of having a child. Obviously, you have plants. Mine wasn't planned. Someone came out of nowhere, made me a mother out of my own will. I didn't have plants. I wasn't ready. Please. I say this again whenever you see me on the road looking like this. Don't stop me. What you reject, another person will accept it. So don't you look down on anybody. Don't you take anybody for granted. Everyone's a blessing, everything is a lesson. Accept your fate and try to live on. Oh, value everything you've got. 
try to value everything you've got. Cause when you throw the treasure away, so was this why you sent for me? Is what I complained about not enough for me to send for you? How could a man wear my son bring in an old and expired cargo to me? And the worst of it all, the woman already had three children. I want a vibrant woman, not that kind of person. Don't you need someone that is vibrant anymore? I, I, I need somebody vibrant, but uh, not that kind of woman. If, if you talk about somebody like Ijoma, the mad woman, look at her. Uh, she's still tall, but she, her body is still sopping. Um, she can make a man's manhood to stand. That's the kind of woman I need. Since your mind is still in that girl. Yes. That girl is still very fresh. Despite the fact that she has given birth to a child. Look at her body. Still standing like a ruler. She can still raise a pope's manhood. How I wish she would say a simple yes. Alright. <clears throat> if that is the case, I'll give it a second trial. If you do that for me, I will give you that my land at the crossroad to show you how important it is to me. If that is the case, consider it done. Oh, please, please, do it. Oh, do it for me. Okay. My brother, please. Ima, your father doesn't know what he wanted. And I have told you that all you need to do is to marry a woman and keep her to be taking care of your father. That one will be your wife at home, while the white woman should be doing her own contract marriage. Do you know what it took me to convince that woman before she agreed? And an old man like your father rejected her. Eh? Don't be angry, my dear. All I wanted was what will make the old man happy. Will you kill yourself? Since your father is looking for tomato juice, and such tomato is very hard to see. Let him manage tomato in wool oil. Clara, I suggest we try more. Yeah. Probably look for someone that can convince Ijoma. The old man is her type and is willing to spend his life savings just to have her. Ijoma is out of it. Don't even dare. That one get her own trouble. The fact that she got pregnant the way she did is making her a sadist. Look elsewhere. Then, then what do you suggest I should do? Let your father rest and stop making choice. Tell her moms. Okay, father, I will. But father, please, one more thing. Father, please talk to Unamdi. His attitude towards her, it's not good at all. She was crying over the phone all through last night. And I really felt for her. Please, Father. Do as I said. Hmm? And uh, let me know exactly what is going on. Sorry about the way I spoke to you the other day. It's not in my manner to talk to people like that. So you can actually be this calm. You can actually be this calm and relate like a normal human being. Did you think that I've come here to arrest you? 
Nobody understands me. Nobody listens to me. I'm, I'm, so, I'm sorry. No one understands you. Is that enough to treat a child that God gave to you as a gift? That way, that was an act of wickedness. That is what life did to me. But no one seems to understand that part of me. I'm not that kind of person. You know what, get up. up. Whatever it is eating you up. Bringing out the worst in you. I'll suggest that you let it out and let it go. What I saw that day was not good. I'm going to come back here. You and I would have a proper talk. Hmm? In the meantime, where is your mother? She, she has gone to her farm. I see. Do you need anything? Yes. Clothes, shoes, money, gifts, uh, anything at all to take this wickedness that I see out of your system. Huh? I don't need any of those. People call me names, all sorts of names. And you just called me a wicked woman. All I need is a listening ear. That's all, not, nothing more. I'll be back. I will talk. Thank you. Your father's position as a church leader is very important. But you should have also discussed with your fiancé to find out if he's keen in marrying you or not. Your Majesty, I, I told him that I was not free. But he insisted and had his way. So when I, I missed my period, I, I told him about it. He said I should keep the child, but due to my father's position in the church, I wouldn't want to disappoint him. So I, 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 I took a pill. Did what? Took a pill? That pill you took is the cause of all this problem. You just wasted a seed of royalty. How dare you? On a very flimsy excuse, you guys will go on terminating innocent souls. Father, Father, what is she going to do now? Because Namde has changed completely. His attitude towards her now, it's something else. And I understood her fears, considering the fact that her father is a priest. Father, the deed has been done. What do we do to bring both of them together again? The man knows what to do. He is no longer a kid. Look, I don't like this thing that Kate did. On a very flimsy excuse, you've just terminated a child, a soul created by God. Let me warn all our young girls out there. You shouldn't see abortion as a last resort. She didn't even tell me that you are here. Hey. No, you just came. Oh, my prince. 
sir. Welcome, bro. Thank you, man. Hey, yeah, no. I'm a family friend now, so what's uh, now? It's okay. You're, I'm you're, bomb. You're always welcome. Hey, Goro Goro, be a bad one now. Thank you. You're welcome. Nne, there's money on the table. Use it to buy ingredients for the soup. Then there's cocoyam under the bed. Now, my prince, please, I hope you will eat cocoyam. That's fine, Mama. It's okay. <laughs> Cook it well, oh, sorry, I need no Mama, Mama, wano, have a nice day. Don't mind my mom. It's fine. Thanks for coming. You're welcome. I promised that I'll be here again. Because you promised that the next time I come, you'll tell me your story. So, I want to hear it. I don't want you to waste your tears now. You don't have to cry. Just, just talk to me. You know, wounds are not easily healed. It's not even advisable to pick up broken plates. Because it's dangerous. I was only 13 when I lost my father. We all lived in Onicha. My father was a civil servant. And that was our means of livelihood, except for my mother who, who did petty trading. My mother, my father, and my late brother. <laughs> and then one Sunday evening, my father had a stroke. And life became <laughs> from bad to worse. <laughs> Two months later, he died. My mother had to continue with her petty trading. But that didn't last long. And then we had to come back to the village because <laughs> my mother couldn't see me through school anymore. And that was when a man from our neighboring village came. was my father's friend. He intervened and rendered to help our family. And that was how I left the village for independence layout in Enugu. take you to school and get you registered so that you can start immediately since you said you want to be a lawyer or a journalist i will do everything within my power to see you fulfill your dreams thank you so much sir. i really appreciate it right. right. my god will bless you, you. yeah mama god will bless you so much oh, yeah. thank you mm. Thank you. Yes, Mama. All I want is for you to be a good girl. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's all. 
wake up in the morning, do your house chores, finish it on time, and go to school early. That's, that finishes it. <laughs> I was so happy. So happy in that house because the man and his wife took me like their own child. And I tried everything everything I could to make them happy as well. I read my books because I wanted to make him happy. I was in senior secondary school too. Then he had promised to see me through school to study law or journalism which has which had always been my dream. Till that fateful day, <laughs> he had traveled with his wife to the village. I, I, was, <laughs> I was in my room reading. my clothes. He beats me up mercilessly. And upon that, he took my virginity. <sighs> and then I found out I was pregnant. His mother wouldn't buy into that idea. According to her, her son was too good to do such a thing. She called me all sort of names. At that point, we, could, we didn't even know where he was. Because he had run away. His mother was bent on sending me out of the house. She brought me back to the village. I suffered. I, I suffered so much. Because I couldn't get rid of the pregnancy. I was called all sorts of names. And then one day, the man and his wife came here. I have been warning her to stay quiet and stop jumping from one man to another. And I already asked my son, and he said nothing like that ever happened between them. So, Biko, let her tell you who is responsible for her pregnancy. My son is not, so she should stop accusing my innocent son. Innocent son, indeed. Anguleka, your innocent son, indeed. So, your Chinedu's uh, uh, name has come from Chinedu to innocent overnight. Okay, let me tell you, if your son has been innocent of this case, my daughter here wouldn't have been calling his name. Inania, 
and watch your tongue. And they can just watch your tongue. Mind what is coming out of your mouth. Because God in heaven is judging. Whatever that comes off your, out of your mouth, God is judging you. You said that my daughter has been following men all around. You saw that and then you kept quiet. Okay, watch your tongue go. I know you are lying. Just watch your tongue because God will judge you. By your word, by your actions, God will judge you. In uh, 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 ne, Biko, um, I am begging. What happened has happened. Uh, please, the thing we should be talking now is to pray to God to give her safe and smooth delivery. But as for me here, I will find out my son wherever he is eh? and sit him down. Talk sense into him. Because since this thing happened, I have not seen him. Though he has been communicating with uh, my wife here, his mother. Eh? Because, but I am begging. Please, can we do so if I... Why is he running? No, why is he running if he is not responsible for this pregnancy? Can you hear that? My son, is not running. my son is not running. No, you take call. Chine do my son is not responsible. Chine do mom is not responsible. No, yeah. So tell her to open her mouth and tell you who it is. And she should go and meet the person that made her pregnant. I'm gonna come decide. Yeah, nah, nah, e no. I had lost my hope. I lost my dreams. I lost everything and it was worse because I I saw my mates doing things going places useful things and I just I just sat around doing nothing and then Amarachi came Oh, I hated her so much. I hated her to the point that I tried to poison her if not for my mother. What still? I gave birth to her through cesarean section. Do you know what it took my mother? Do you know what it took my mother to offset the bills? My whole life changed. Everything. My life. My dreams. My home. Everything I, I you have I was... cried, you have cried, you have cried, you have cried enough. Good job. Let's go quiet. Stop crying. It's fine. Stop. I understand. Mm -hmm. I understand. Take it easy. I understand. I know. I know that this stigma has eaten deep into you, I know. But we'll have to find a way to bring you out of it. We'll have to find a way to keep your dreams alive. This is not the end of your life. You can still be a doctor, a lawyer, anything that you wish to be. This cannot be your end, please. I will be here. I will help you. I'll help you to leave again. But I need you to promise me that you are going to put all of this behind you. Please, stop crying, okay? Listen, Amarachi is God's gift. Amarachi is the best gift that God gave to you. Listen, I need you to look at it that way. But you see her as not a gift. You hate her because you fear that she came between you and your dreams. But no, 
Yes. That girl is a gift. Please. Stop crying. Okay. Listen, hey, I hear that um, registrations for examinations are still ongoing. And I also want you to register for extra moral lessons. We can do this. Go ahead, take it. I'll fight this battle with you and let's see if you cannot achieve all that you have set out to achieve. Come on now. Come on. Take it, please. Huh? Stop crying. Bless you. God bless you. It's okay. You don't know what this means to me. I, I, had, I had lost hope of going back to school. It's okay. Get up. Get up. Please sit. Get up and see it, please. Huh? Stop crying. Huh? It's okay, you've been through quite a bit and I get it. But it's time to look into the future. The future is all yours. Huh? Stop crying. Stop crying. Stop crying. Stop crying. I have to go now. Okay. Thank you. I have to go. But I'll be in touch. I'll visit you. I'll see you again. Huh? Thank you. Stop crying. God bless you. Stop. God bless you too. Well, God bless you, sir. Thank you. Joma, this one you greeted me today with a smiling face. What happened? Or oh, is this not Ijoma? This is Ijoma. And have I not been greeting you before? Why are you surprised? You greeting me with a smiling face. Please tell me, did you win a pool? Yeah. Uh, no. Is Mama home? She's not around. She went out. Tell her to send for me when she comes back. I will. You're not fighting now. Uh uh. Doka. Where are you coming from? Oh, I went to lesson. Oh, oh. Up to go. Up to go, mama. <laughs> and okay. I also registered for my wife today. Eh? Yes. Hey, chineke, kede de korage. Amen. Hey, hey, you have said that God works in mysterious ways. Okay, <laughs> Fugia. Now, there's something I want you to do. What is it, mom? I want you to rush to the palace. And tender apology to the king for your rude attitude towards him. So, Biko, Biko, 
Okay, Mama. I will. I'll do it. Eh, eh, eh. Not you will. <laughs> I want you to do it immediately. Mama, I said I would do it. Mama, calm down, Oak. What did you cook? Gina Agua. Gina Agua. Mama, don't cook rice. Gina Agua. Jerry, you Gina Agua. Amarachi, what is it? Amarachi, talk. What is it? Go and call the judge, son. Okay, father. Hey, Bube. Yes. Call all the guards and maidens. Tell them my father wants to see them. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. I'll deal with the matter. Father, here, here. Who among you, Peter? Your, your Majesty, I saw her in the kitchen washing plates, and I told her to leave the plates for me to wash, but she refused. Then you beat her? No, no, Your Majesty. I. I only took the place forcefully from her and she started crying. Besides, she has broken some place before, so I do not want her to touch the place again. And did you tell me all this? No, my princess. Besides, I don't see reasons to make such complaint. Now I ask you, are those plates yours? No, Your Majesty. Mm -hmm. So why did you use? If this had broken all the plates in this house, that's still mine, not yours. Now listen, I will allow her to wash all the plates in the house. Am I understood? Yes, Your Majesty. Oh, Jim, we all know that Amarachi here is closer to you than every other maiden in this palace. Please, do not make her cry again. Father, let them go and say to. Oh, well, just before then, let could you apologize to her? I mean, oh, ma'am, I'm sorry. Oh, I didn't mean to make you upset. Oh, I'm sorry. I think you should forget it. Okay, my father has forgotten about it. We talked about it and he let it go. So, forget it. Let's focus on, on you. Let's focus on making your dreams a reality. Okay? As for Marachi, you don't worry about her. She's doing fine. She's having a great time at the palace. I honestly think that she's forgotten that you exist. That is not possible. Oh well, you see when a child does not ask for someone, it simply means they've forgotten all about them. Having said that, I think that you should be patient with her. Amarachi went through a lot in your hands. You know. Give her time to heal. Give her time to forget all of that. It's hard for kids to forget, but we'll try with her. By giving her the best of life at the palace. Give her some time to miss you too. You never know, she just might begin to miss her mother at some point. So that when you eventually see her again, it will be a very beautiful reunion. Huh? <coughs> huh? Seeing her won't be bad. Seeing the king also to tender an apology won't be a bad idea as well. But if you say I should calm down, then I will. Yeah, calm down for now. 
Well, let time pass. That day would come. But when it comes, it will be beautiful. Huh? <laughs> Let's talk about you. What have you been doing with your time? Studies? What's going on? Bring me up to speed now. I'd like to know. Yeah? Well, classes are great. My teachers are amazing. And um, it's been worth the while. I know it's been good. Has it been good with you and for you? How are you doing with academics? I'd like to know. I'm fine. Everything is fine. School is fine. Classes. You sound confident. Can I see? You want to see? Oh, yeah, I want to see. <laughs> I want to see. Okay, let me surprise you. <laughs> okay. There you go. <laughs> Look at you, see. Sorry. You've got my stuff, eh? Sorry. So you come with this paper. I'll be this chair. Uh, well, why I am sometimes. Why did you throw the bag? You asked for it and I gave it to you. Because it's yours as well. Yeah. How? What do you mean? You gave me the money to buy the bag and the books. So it belongs to you too. Okay. Yes. Let's see if I'm shaking up too. <clears throat> Don't do that. <clears throat> Don't do that. Are you impressed? <laughs> is this you? Of course, it is me. You don't know. Yes. <laughs> oh, oh, hold on. Let's see what you're home. beginning to sound like my teacher. And why are you going through my books? You never like know I, like... I could be. You know, to think that I like your handwriting. I know you would. Yeah. <laughs> Quite. Um... Ijoma, this is impressive. <laughs> Thank this you. This is impressive. I'm... You're shocked, right? Well, <laughs> <laughs> what were you thinking? I don't know. I'm a dog girl. No, maybe your grace will be as troublesome as you are. <laughs> <laughs> but this is good. I'm impressed. Your grades are good. Thank you. So what's your plan? Um, <clears throat> what university would you like to attend? Well, all universities in Nigeria are beautiful. Right. But there is one in the East I would love to attend. The East? Yes. Which will that be? Let me tell you. Oh, go ahead. UNM. Yes. <laughs> University of Nigeria, Asuka. Yes. One of the best in the country. Mm. I agree with you. Great choice. <laughs> Great choice. Great choice. Great choice. Ah, I'm quite impressed. Ah. Huh? Thank you. But then I have to go. Um, let your mom know that I was here. The next time I come, I'd like to, you know, have a word with her. Mm? Okay. And as for you, stay alive. Don't worry yourself too much. Huh? Life is like a pendulum. It swings in different directions. And if you stay alive and keep faith, one day it will swing in your favor. And you'll smile again. You sound like my teacher. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Now I'll tell my mom you were here. Sure. Bye.
said good afternoon. Why do you keep showing up here? Why do you keep coming here? I've made it very clear. The bond between the both of us was broken. Why are you here? No, that's not how to talk to a woman. What is your problem, brother? Huh? Father told you to calm down and listen to Kate, but you vehemently refused, and that is bad. If you were God, you wouldn't lend your ears. I did. I'm your elder brother. You would not speak to me in that manner. I'm sorry. Keep quiet. I brought her here. You suddenly think you know Kate more than I do? Listen, the both of you have found friendship in each other. I wish you luck. But keep me out of your conversations. I'm sorry. Kate. I'm very sorry, please. Stop coming here. There is nothing here for you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, please. Bro, she said she's sorry. I'm sorry. She's begging. Darling, darling, no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Stop that. I'm sorry. Don't cry, okay? Don't cry, okay? I'm begging. Don't worry. I'll talk to my brother. He is my brother. I'll talk to him. He will listen to you. You will smile in a moment ago, so I want you to smile. Take my advice, value everything you've got. How are you? Good afternoon, my prince. You like to call me Prince? <laughs> my name is Namdi. Huh? Namdi. Call me Namdi. That way we are friends. You're freer to talk to me. Okay? Uh, okay, sir. Namdi. Namdi. Please sit down. Thank you. Let me drop my bag inside. 